find all of the polar coordinates of point P if point P is 7 comma pi over 3. Now remember these are polar coordinates so this 7 is the R value that's the distance from the center and this pi over 3 is theta it's an angle of rotation. So let's draw a diagram representing this point. All right, so normally I say, hey, let's draw a unit circle. This is not a unit circle because a unit circle means that the radius is one. Um, because the R value has to be seven, let's let this be a circle that has a radius of seven. So anywhere I draw a line, you can uh, rest assured that it's gonna be a distance of seven away. So it'll have the correct R value. So here's what these coordinates mean, positive 7 and uh, angle of rotation pi over 3. Let's start with the positive 7. All right, positive 7 means let's start out going 7 to the right. Okay, this is the positive direction. So let's start off going seven units in the positive direction. Then we do the angle of rotation, which is pi over three. So I went positive seven. Now I'm rotating a third of pi, which is about here. So this would be a diagram of point P. So I went positive seven and then I rotated pi over 3 counterclockwise. So um, let's start by naming uh, some other names for this same position. Let's use positive 7 still. So if I start with positive 7, so I went positive 7. Um, if I went pi over 3, that puts me where I am. However, uh, I could go all the way around and back to where I started from. So if I go an extra lap around the circle, that is uh, starting with pi over 3 and then adding an extra 2 pi. So this would be another name for the same thing. All right, positive 7, and then I went pi over 3 plus 2 pi puts me at the same spot. Um, now, of course, instead of going around one extra time, I could go around two extra times, all right? Um, or I could go around three extra times. So what I'm going to add on here is the letter N to represent how many times I'm going around. Okay, so if N is 1, then I went around 2, two pi extra. If N is 2, then that's 4 pi extra. So that's why the N is there, because I could just keep doing this all day. So this represents a, uh, infinitely many names of the same point. Uh, because of the N, I've got infinitely many names. So first of all, let's um, look for answers that involve this expression. So I see 7 comma pi over 3 plus 2 pi N. Well, 2 N pi, 2 pi N. That's the same thing. Um, so this is a potential answer. Okay, I also see it here, 7 comma pi over 3, 2 n pi. So this is a potential answer. All right, um, looking at the other options, I notice that this option C does not involve, does not include what we just came up with at all. Um, it's close, but this is a negative 7. We were doing positive 7. So the answer cannot be C. Similarly, the answer cannot be D, because they just did a pi n instead of 2 pi n. So we have to throw this out. So we've narrowed it down to either A or B. Now it's time to talk about what does a negative r value mean? And how can we use a negative r value and still end up at the same spot that we wanted. Okay, um, here's how. 
if we go to the right like this that is a positive r value right that's a positive 7 however if we go to the left and I'm gonna color this red to show that it's negative all right if we go to the left instead of the right now this is a negative 7 okay to the right was a positive 7 starting off to the left is considered to be a negative 7 now where do I have to rotate to get back to the point um, so for starters you know what maybe I'll leave this maybe I'll draw a fresh one okay so here I am I went negative 7 now I need to rotate around until I get to here okay now if I rotate so far I've gone pi over 2 it's half of pi if I go to here I've gone pi now if I go here that's pi plus pi over 3 remember this angle right here we knew from the start this angle right here is pi over 3 okay so if I go uh, if I rotate starting from the negative 7 I have to go negative 7 comma and then first I went pi and then I went the extra pi over 3 so this would be another name of the same spot start off to the left and then rotate pi and then an extra pi over 3 now looking at my answers I see that they have pi over 3 in the front so um, I'm sure you'd agree that this would be the same thing as having negative 7 comma pi over 3 plus pi okay that's the same thing now what if we went around an extra time like we did before so instead of stopping here what if I went around and back to the start again what did I just do well in that case I just added an extra 2 pi by going around and back to the start of course that should be the same what would that be so I did negative 7 and I did pi over 3 now at first I did pi but if I go an extra 2 pi then now that's been 3 pi so every time I go around the circle again I'm adding 2 more pi so if I went around again it'd be pi over 3 plus 5 pi alright because I just added another 2 pi or if I went around again it'd be negative 7 and then pi over 3 plus 7 pi and so on so how do I generalize this um, I've got these odd numbers even the first one uh, when I just have well, let me throw this out for a second when I just had pi over 3 plus pi you can think of that as 1 pi so what I have is 1 3 5 7 etc so we're hitting all of the odd numbers so an, a good way to represent all of the odd numbers would be like this so I'll have my negative 7 and I'll have my pi over 3 so if you want an odd number you can go um, 2n plus 1 pi okay the 2n plus 1 just means that you're going to have odd numbers. For example, um, what if n is 0? If n is 0, then you've just got 1, like 1 pi. What if n is 1? Okay, what does that give you? Then that's 2 times 1, which is 2, plus 1, which is 3. So that would give you 3 pi. Uh, what if n is 2? 
then that's 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5 pi. So by using the expression 2n plus 1, this will give you 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, etc. It gives you odd numbers. So anytime you see that the pattern is all odd numbers, you can go ahead and use the expression 2n plus 1 to represent all the odd numbers. And that's what we have here, odd numbers, so that's 2n plus 1 pi. Okay, so looking at our two remaining choices, um, so with negative 7, we have pi over 3 plus 2n pi. Hmm, that's going to be even numbers, right? Uh, or if I have negative 7 comma pi over 3 plus 2n plus 1 pi. Now that's the odd numbers. So that tells us that this is the option that we're looking for. This is the one that fits. So the answer is B.